my name is Laszlo Pinter and uh, I'm a professor in the Department of Environmental Sciences and Policy. Uh, since uh, September 1st of this year, I came back to Hungary after 20 years. Uh, I, sent, I spent the last 16 of which uh, at uh, the International Institute for Sustainable Development, uh, or IISD, which is based uh, in uh, Winnipeg, Canada. The framing for my research, of course, is sustainable development. In terms of my uh, actual research, uh, the angle that I was most interested in was related to measuring uh, progress in the context of sustainable development. This is a, a systems concept and uh, uh, sustainability is defined very often uh, by, uh, by context, local context, political context, ecological context. And uh, it also links uh, uh, social, economic, environmental issues together uh, in, these, in these various contexts. I've been involved in uh, uh, in many global projects. Uh, I'm currently the coordinating lead author of the Global Environment uh, Outlook of the United Nations Environment Program, trying to bring this uh, global, uh, global uh, outlook project to the sub-global, national, local, uh, regional, or ecosystem level. And uh, that's where uh, bringing this, uh, this concept to the, to the regional level is, is uh, something that I'm interested in right now in the Hungarian context. We had the fortune or misfortune to, uh, of moving uh, to uh, a town very close to uh, the, the site where the Red Mud disaster happened uh, just a few weeks ago, uh, the town of Vesprem. And uh, partly as a result of, of that, partly because I've done some, some work earlier on the uh, cyanide uh, disaster in, uh, in Romania that of course affected Hungary, I've been drawn a little bit into, into this project and what I'm particularly interested in, not being a technical expert uh, on, on red mud, is uh, how uh, decision making at various levels from, uh, from the corporate to the, uh, to the local municipal uh, st state and even up to international level, how, how decision making on all these levels uh, contributed to, the, uh, to this particular disaster and uh, looking into the future, what can we do uh, syst syst at the systems level and the policy making level to reduce the risk of similar uh, disasters happening uh, in the future. More and more st uh, students are interested in uh, the systems, systemic interconnections between uh, environment development, human well-being. Because these are, not, these are not connections that are very hard to see and uh, we have conceptual frameworks that uh, actually make the recognizing these linkages easier. So I hope it's not wishful thinking on my part that there is more interest in these systemic relationships because uh, I think in order to really deal with the problems, the very large problems we have and whether those include climate change or water resource problems or, or biodiversity conservation, these linkages, seeing where these levers are, recognizing that that the solutions to many of the environmental and ecosystem problems are not purely in the environment domain, but in the economic, in the social domain, in the domain of values and mindsets, those are extremely important. So we, I think we have to send that message and, and I hope that there will be more and more students who, who see these uh, connections.